Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Meta stock surges and reports of more layoffs, here is why shares of Meta, the parent company of Facebook and Instagram, rose nearly 1% on Tuesday morning, after reports that the social media giant plans to shed thousands of employees as early as this week, even after becoming one of the largest rounds of layoffs, were raging in the tech industry, earlier this year. Recent tech layoffs have prompted stock hikes at several companies, including Google's parent company Alphabet, as well as Spotify, Celesfers, Zoom and online furniture retailer Wayfair. As part of a phenomenon Wedbush analyst Daniel Ives told Forbes in January, the layoffs were the first big step in stabilizing troubled stocks after many tech companies ambitiously hired during the COVID-19 pandemic had, as consumers increasingly turned to online shopping and other online platform and facing. Following a wave of layoffs in the tech industry and employers, fears that high inflation and multiple rounds of rate hikes could plunge the economy into recession, Meta announced in November that it would also cut headcount, cut about 11,000 employees, and destroy Meta's stock to increase by 5% per day. Zuckerberg called it one of the hardest changes we've made in the history of Meta. The only companies to implement major layoffs in recent months were Google Parent Alphabet, which announced plans to cut about 12,000 employees in January, and Amazon, which unveiled a plan to cut more than 18,000 jobs. Last month, Meta stock had its best day in 10 years, rising 23% after a quarterly earnings report, in which the company announced cost-cutting measures. Meta shares are still down more than 42% since October 2021. In February, a Washington Post report indicated that Facebook was planning to cut thousands of jobs and that the company was urging executives, lawyers and HR officials to plan restructuring. Sources told the Post that the company is also planning to push some of its executives into lower positions within the company. Meta spokesman Andy Stone denied the report, writing in a Twitter message that the Post made that mistake. However, in a fiscal fourth quarter conference call last month, Zuckerberg admitted that the company's decision to cut about 11,000 employees was just the beginning of our focus on efficiency, not the end.